Hello everyone and welcome to episode 13 of building my dream park in theme park tycoon 2. So today we are going to build a lot of terrain rocks because as you can see there are still a lot of weird places with the coaster, uh, coasters going through the terrain. Uh, it just looks weird and we need to definitely fix that. So first we need to continue with the path that's going somewhere in the mountain. I have actually no idea where it is. Alright, so from this side we need to probably head under here. And I think this is probably the perfect area for the path to go through. Yeah, I think this is probably the best thing. So continue this path. And what I might actually want to do is place a right in here because why not well, what is maybe a good right to put in this spot here we have a drop tower can be cool it's maybe a little bit weird of course we have the new drop tower Ooh, why not but i might place it a little bit higher and i think this is actually the first right we're placing in this park if i'm right so wait i have to look out oh wait we're going to place it a little bit in the ground so it's actually going down. For the exit, I probably want a basic path going up here. Actually, it doesn't have to be that special. So let's just go up here with a ramp and two other paths. Just like that. That's perfect. It doesn't have to be special. Now for the queue. Um, how am I going to do that? I guess I just want to go uh, at this point here. I think that's probably the best place. Yeah. So if we also just get a wooden, just like that. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Uh, we are going to do custom fencing or just simple fencing that looks a little bit better, I guess. And for all these points, I will be yeah putting fences um, or yeah structures. How do you say it? It's like the, the, these beams, the wooden frames. These are all going to be around here and on different heights. So it looks a little bit like a mine shaft or everything is like supported. I think it can look really cool. And I probably actually don't have to put any pens here because this, I guess this is all going to be closed off. Uh, maybe a hole where you can see the coast a little bit, but I want to have this place quite open with the looping there. I think that can look really cool. Oh, I love how this is looking. Oh, I really like that. Okay. And then this place is just probably going to be closed off. And actually doing the roof for this will be quite painful. Um, I guess it has to go actually quite high. And of course, oh, the coast is also going here. I totally forgot. So how am I going to do this? Because the, all this terrain here needs to kind of go. And I actually think something like this can be really cool with like having some holes in it. Oh yeah. Oh no. I, I am. I don't know why, but I am kind of liking this. We still have a problem actually here with the terrain. So let's also delete this. And it is actually going upside down around here. So these also need to be gone. I think for the rest it's fine. I actually think I can continue this pillar here. Because the, the, the train is in this area there. Alright. One there. And I think that's good enough for now. And having all these holes in the mountain here. Of course it will be way more dark inside. So you won't be really seeing in there. But yeah that that oh i really like how that's looking i love that i was totally not planning that but yes yes please more <laughs> but i still want um the looping to be sealed off so you are not really seeing that because i want that definitely to be like a secret like you're going in the mountain like oh wow there's a, a looping here so i really want to keep that effect so i am going to try and hide that up as much as possible all right something like this is probably good enough let's place some more terrain under here and i now am going to try and seal this off here don't know if it will really fit because of the terrain here i can probably place it here oh i don't know if we are going through that rock then uh yeah we're definitely going to that rock so we will have to improvise a little bit here what i will do is probably use some primitives as rocks and just rotate them a little bit and probably rotate um, something like this. Uh, let's put it on default snapping for now. And this, it is uh, mainly a back wall. Uh, of course, you're going so fast by it. So it doesn't really, really matter. Let's give it a warp texture because now it's just looking weird. Uh, like that. Now give it a small root because now everything is just flying. Uh, let's see how it looks from the outside. Fine, I guess. Yeah. That's, that's not bad. We might have to fix this up here. So before I can actually do the terrain, I think we need support for this. Because now this is just flying. The lounge is just here flying. And uh, before we do supports or anything, we still need to fix these two holes. Because we don't want the coast to go through the terrain actually. And the same for the lounge. Alright, that's probably good enough. 
All right, now that we have done that, um, let's start with doing the supports for the looping. So I'm just going to copy the support so I know which one I need to use. I guess I want to use the terrain to my advantage, but I guess that's maybe a little bit simple. And I really want to make it look good. So I guess just rotate it like that. It definitely needs to be in the middle. And I have to look out for this track there, of course. So what I'm going to do is probably rotate it once. Now that's subtly too close. Um. We just do it like this. I know it will look not perfectly centered, but I think this can still look really good. Yeah, I, I still, yeah, I still like that. And the coaster will go through the supports. Uh, uh, let's let's actually see if that fits. All right, there it comes. Let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh, perfect. Just don't put your hands up in the air. For the rest, it fits perfect. All right, now let, let's do the same for the other side. All right, and just like that, we have two supports that are actually not looking too bad. I really like how that turned out. Uh, we also need some supports under here. And just like that, all the supports for the looping are done. Now we need to continue this last part here from the inside of the cave. Ooh, and I might be able to actually do this here. Yeah, 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 I like that, I like that. And I might actually do the same for here. And this support will probably go from the rock because I don't want any support in the middle here. I think that looks maybe a little bit weird. And I think for now this is enough support done for this area. And I am really starting to like on how this is looking. Uh, I think when we add some more hanging vines, some crystals and some other stuff, this can look really, really cool. So guys, let's do that in the form of a time lapse. When words are said, we'll 
Alright, so seen in the time lapse, I have finished, almost finished the inside of the cave. Uh, I still want to add some vines and stuff, but sadly I don't have time for that anymore. And I also want to add like some light bulbs uh, hidden at some points to give it a little bit more of a, a vibe, because all the lights are just constantly on. But I just really, really love how this is looking. Um, I love how you can see the track at some point, and especially from the outside, if you look in the cave right now. It is just some green, blo green blobs and it's exactly what I wanted. So if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, like the video. And I will say, as always, goodbye.